I'm a firm believer, and I can't back it up with anecdotal fact or scientific fact or even religious fact, but I'm a firm believer that God has given all of us a talent to do something. And what I mean is, I think that we're all extremely special in our own way. And by the way, I'm not kissing your rear end. I'm not, you know, nosing up. I'm not, I'm not, you know, going to ask you for a favor after this. I mean this. And I was talking to a friend today. I'm not going to say who it was because I, I don't, I don't think that he wants me to put it out there, but I happened to be at the gym and I was like, why aren't you this? Why aren't you that? Why don't you do this? And then I talked about this purpose that we all have. The difference between a guy like me or a gal like Carrie and some people who feel as though they're just mired in the mud of life is that we have been very, very lucky that we figured it out. You know what I'm saying, Carrie? I agree with you, yeah. Yeah. You're really, really good at what you do. Thank you. And I'm really, really good at what I do. I'm not afraid to say that Um, or else I wouldn't be doing it. I'm able to pay my bills and have a couple of dollars left over for maybe, you know, a bite to eat or some gum. So, Carrie can as well. For me, um, for some reason, and I just want to shake people around the shoulders, some people don't ever find out what that purpose is. And I was telling this friend today at the gym, um, I, I know people have a voice as good as mine and, and a mind as good as mine who are pumping gas. There's nothing wrong with pumping gas, don't get me wrong. Or driving a truck or delivering pizzas. All those are really great ways to make a living. But they're going through life never having pinpointed what it was they can do or what it was that they've been gifted. Not not everybody can do what I do. Not everybody can drive a truck. Not everybody can be a news anchor. Not everybody can do a technical director job or, or a producer job. I mean, we know that. But there, I do believe that we all have the ability to do something. What I'm urging people who are watching and listening to do, and this is just sort of Joe pumps you up on a Wednesday, but but also uh, Joe drops a little, Pags drops a little reality on you. I just talked about myself in the third person more than I ever have. But I want you to realize that as you're looking for what it is God has bestowed upon you, what it is your gifts are, go to work, work really hard, and always have that goal. Now, I'm different in that my father, and I've talked about my, my battles with my dad over the years, and I would give a year's salary to have one more day with him. He passed away back in 2010, and, and I hate that he's gone, but we had our battles, and my objective was when he would beat me down or I couldn't be on TV or couldn't be on the radio or couldn't do fill in the blank, couldn't play an instrument, I like to believe that he did that to try to motivate me. Now, he probably didn't. He probably just just being a jerk, but... Having said that, I achieved all the things he said I couldn't, and then some. And that motivated me. Just like in the gym, if somebody yells at me and calls me, you know, a girl or something, oh, watch this, you know, that's just how I react. Other people react to somebody telling you how great you are. And be careful with who's telling you how great you are, how special you are, because if they're being disingenuous, it'll hurt you in the long run. But if they're being truthful, it can really help you. So decide what it is that motivates you whether it's success, whether it's money in the bank, whether it's to prove to somebody you could do something they said you couldn't do, or, you know, is the motivating factor going to be somebody notices what it is you appear to be good at, and then you go in and pursue that. What you shouldn't do, and I'm, look, I'm, not, I'm only an expert in my own story. I'm only the hero of my own book, okay? Don't, don't misunderstand that I'm telling you how to live your life. What I want you to do is be the hero of your own story and figure out for yourself what it is that's going to motivate you to do and be what it is you've always thought or you always wish that you could do or be. Don't ever let the inner voice in yourself or somebody who's an outside voice tell you that you can't do that unless that motivates you. Again, when we started this syndicated show, I thought 20 stations would be great, but in the back of my mind, I always wanted a 1,000. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to keep on striving as hard as I can, but I want to urge you and empower you and really give you the strength to understand that nobody is better than you are. Nobody has more talents than you do. There are just people in life who have realized what those talents are. I believe, look, you're not going to be the greatest singer. You're not going to be the greatest talk show host. You're not going to be the greatest truck driver, but you can be the greatest something. Figure out what that something is for you and then go and grab it. Does any of that make any sense, Carrie? It does, yeah. I think it's probably good for people to hear. What I hate, Wednesday. what I hate seeing, is people I know have more to give, and have talent to spare, and not using it. What I hate seeing or hearing is people who 
are making excuses for why they're not achieving or why they're not working or why they're not getting a paycheck or why they're not going to the next level or why they're not hoping or, or trying for that promotion or why they're not trying you know, to, to you know, broaden the audience no matter what it is that they're doing. That bothers me because I think it's wasted talent. And I think that's sort of a slap in the face to God Almighty who gave us, you know, what it is that we all have. So I hope that that's motivating. I hope that it's not self-serving and I hope that it doesn't come off that I'm preaching to you. It's just me telling you that you do have a special purpose, not in the jerk sort of way, but you do have a special purpose. You do have a, a reason or, or a thing that it is that you are ultimately great at And the vast majority of you just haven't realized it yet, and I want you to. 1-800-383-9624.